Hi there, this is James Swanick, and you're listening to the Alcohol Free Lifestyle Podcast, where you learn how to take back control over alcohol and live a life of health, wealth, love, and happiness. This is James Swanick joining you from Brisbane, Australia. I'm at the Hamilton Lawn Bowls Club of all places. And today I want to talk about why 90 days alcohol free gives you the power to then be able to choose to either remain alcohol free or do moderation. In my experience, anything less than 90 days keeps people stuck in stop, start, stop, start. Maybe you go 60 days quitting alcohol, but then you have a drink and then the slippery slope gets you. And next thing you know, over the space of two or three weeks, you're back drinking to as much or if not more than when you were uh, drinking before you attempted to quit. So, uh, let me just paint the scene for you here. It's 3.27 in the afternoon here on a winter's Australian morning. Uh, as I am recording this, it is about... I think it's the last week of June. I think it might be June 24. Uh, on July the 1st, if you're listening to this before July the 1st, uh, we have a 90-day quit drinking program. If you go to jameswanick.com forward slash schedule, you can book a, a free 15-minute strategy session with one of my coaches. It's a free call. Uh, you can talk about talk confidentially, uh, confidentially, of course, about your um, relationship with alcohol, uh, we are going to work to give you uh, a plan for you to quit and stay quit. Uh, it's free. Why is it free? Because uh, the only way we know how to help you is by understanding your unique situation and your story. And secondly, I know that some of you are going to want help with us executing on the plan that we give you. So some of you will actually end up wanting to work with us in our 90 day and beyond program. Um, so free call, at worst case scenario, you walk away from that call with a free plan, you go and execute it on your own. Some of you will want some help with executing on that. Then uh, we can book another call and talk about how we will help you. But why 90 days? Like, why not 62 days or six months or 30 days or 45 days? The neuroscience suggests, well, I should say this, there are many conflicting neuroscience studies but most of them seem to suggest that somewhere around 66 days, 90 days, 100 days, 47 days, somewhere around there is how long it takes for we humans to change a habit, to replace a bad habit with a good habit. Now, my first business mentor, a man by the name of Ty Lopez, had a product called the 67 Steps, which came out in 2015, was very successful. He claimed that it took 66 days for a human being to change a habit. That was what one of the studies said, so he called his program the 67 Steps. It was very successful. Uh, other people say, no, it's 100 days. Other people say, like I said, 45, 47 days. It's somewhere in there. In my experience, every time that I have made a significant change in any area of my life, there's something beautiful around that 90 day, one quarter of a year number or time frame. It's just long enough to get momentum and to see significant change. It's not so short that you don't make a breakthrough. It's not so long that it's boring or dull or it seems, un seems unobtainable. It's not so daunting or overwhelming. 90 days, one quarter, maybe a January, February, March, or an April, May, June, or a July, August, September, or October, November, December. It's something that the human brain can comprehend, latch onto, appreciate, understand, savor, and work towards. Now, I have been coaching people on how to quit drinking now for Six years. I've started doing this in 2014, I guess, officially as a business. I was coaching people for the, you know, since 2010, really just in conversation with friends and, and family, because I quit drinking in 2010. Um, in my experience of helping more than 20,000 people reduce or quit alcohol, 
90 days is the sweet spot whereby you overcome the power that alcohol has on you and it gives you that foundation from which you can then choose to do moderation or choose to remain alcohol free. If it's, too, if it's less than that, it's too little a time. If it's more than that, it doesn't seem, it seems drawn out. Uh, it seems like too much of a, of a hurdle, emotional hurdle to begin with and so you don't ever start. It's a sweet spot that the neuroscience seems to suggest is somewhere in that range of time that it takes to change a habit. Now, in my 90-day program, which is named Project 90, we have about an 87%, 85, 86, 87, 88%, somewhere around there, success rate of people getting to 90 consecutive days alcohol-free on their first attempt. Now, of the people that we've stayed in contact with who've gone through that program, because I, I, I lose touch with some people, but of the people who've stayed in contact and give me updates, most of those people have remained alcohol-free. People like John Keltner, um, who's now one of our coaches. Uh, in fact, if you book one of those free strategy sessions I was referring to, you may end up actually speaking to John. Um, John is a, um, a late 40-something man. He lives in... Uh, uh, Washington State, uh, I'm sorry, that's not true, California, Northern California, um, and uh, has a teenage son and uh, joined our Project 90 program 18 months ago, um, back in December of 2018, and he is still alcohol-free to this day. So he got to the 90 days. His goal was to get to 90 days, but then he got to 90 days and he'd already lost, I think, 15 pounds at that time, and he thought, well, I'll just keep on going and see what happens. And so he just kept on going and now here we are, as I'm recording this in July 2020, he's still alcohol free. Uh, if you'd like to see a little video on John sharing his story, you could actually go to uh, jameswanick.com forward slash project 90 testimonials. It's a bit of a long URL I know, but if you go there, you'll be able to see a little video of John sharing his story. Uh, and you can see a before and after photo of him. He, I think he's now lost a total of 25 pounds somewhere around there. Uh, another one of our members, Angela Ponsford, Scottish woman, lives in Lennox Head in Australia on the East Coast, has two twin daughters or has twin daughters. I probably shouldn't say two twin daughters, should I? Because that would mean four, I think. Four kids? If I say twin daughters, that clearly means two. I digress or regress. I'm not sure what the right terminology is. In any case, uh, she has twin daughters. And she joined us also December 2018 and she got to the 90 days and she just kept on going and she still hasn't drunk. She's still alcohol free to this day and she loves it and she's choosing to do that and she's got energy and clarity and focus and she feels good and her skin's got better. She's more productive. She's a leader in her business. She um, manages social media marketing agencies, uh, digital um, social media marketing agencies. And she's someone who's chosen to, to go forward alcohol-free. There's another member we had, Joe Worley. And I'm, by the way, I'm mentioning these, people's, these members' names because they have uh, allowed me to share their names publicly. Um, just to be clear, everything in our group is 100% is private and confidential within the group. And only those people who I'm mentioning now have agreed to have me share their name and their story publicly. So you, if, if indeed you join any of my programs, then we're not going to share your name publicly unless, of course, you give me permission to do so. Uh, but Joe Worley is someone who was drinking too much. Uh, um, I think Joe is late 40s, early 50s, was married. He tried AA, didn't like it. It kept, kept him in shame. He had a pair of... Um, he didn't fit into his 34-inch waist jeans anymore. He was overweight. He joined the 90-day program. He lost a ton of weight. His wife said that she finally got her, uh, her husband back again. They were feeling very disconnected, but now she's super uh, happy and he's happy. And he jokingly said, happy wife, happy life. Or what's the other phrase? It's not as gender specific. Happy home, happy home. No, I can't remember it. I've lost it. Maybe if you're listening and you know what it is, because, I mean, happy wife, happy life may be, be construed as a bit sexist these days in 2020. I, that was not my intention. But I think there's some other phrase I heard recently which was more like a happy life. Not happy wife, happy life. Happy something else. I'm not getting it. 
please help me out, listeners. <laughs> Message me at james at jameswanick.com and let me know what it is if you know what I'm trying to say. In any case, his marriage and his home life, his relationship with his wife improved um, dramatically. And he is someone that got to the 90 days and then a, a couple weeks, I think, after the 90 days, he chose to have a drink. And then on occasion, over the last, uh, I think, year, uh, since he completed those 90 days, he has on occasion had a drink. And it's absolutely fine. So he's not so committed that he wants to be completely alcohol free for life. He's choosing to have a drink on occasion. He's got power back over alcohol. Here's what people, in my experience, do wrong. And this is, this is based from me observing, communicating, coaching with 20,000 plus people now on this particular subject. Those people who start off by saying, I'm going to just do moderation, I'm going to reduce, very rarely do, at least consistently. And that's because they haven't yet got the power over alcohol. They haven't yet gone those 90 consecutive days, broken the back of it, rewired their brain to understand the concept that you do not need alcohol to relieve you of stress. You don't need alcohol to fit in socially. You don't need alcohol to have courage. You choose to be alcohol free because you love the clarity and the focus and the energy and the great sleep and the beautiful skin and the, and the great body and, the, and everything that being alcohol free brings you. So, from that foundation of having gone three months alcohol free, you can then powerfully just say, ah, oh, no, nah, not tonight, or yeah, okay, I'll have one. Or, no, nah, I'm not drinking, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not drinking this month, or I'm not, I'm not drinking midweek, or someone offers you a drink, and you go, yeah, all right, I'll just have one. And then you have one, and it's not like, oh, thank goodness I get to drink. Oh, thank God, it's been so long. I've been in this prison for so long. Finally, I get to enjoy myself. No, that's not it. Because the enjoyment and the pleasure comes from being alcohol-free consistently. In my opinion, all of the pain and the suffering comes from having this attractively packaged poison that we call alcohol. Because it is a poison, it is a toxin. The World Health Organization says that there is zero amount of alcohol that has any benefit to you whatsoever. There is zero, zero, zero benefit to you and drinking alcohol. Zero. Zero. In fact, it's minus something. <laughs> That's how bad it is for you. And yet society has tricked us into believing that it's normal, it's something that we do to engage, to communicate, to correspond, to bond. I've been doing it alcohol-free for ten and a half years. No one would ever accuse me of being disconnected or dull or boring or, un or um, antisocial. So only coming at it from breaking the back of alcohol first, 90 consecutive days alcohol free, can you then have the foundation to choose? Now I would offer you this, when you go into doing this 90 days and to getting to 90 consecutive days, if you want to celebrate with a drink on day 90, I will feel that I have failed you. Because my job is to get you to rewire your brain or to rewire your brain for you or do it with you to a point where you're like, wow, I see the world differently. And now I see the world through a different set of lenses. Now I have this understanding that the special occasion and that the fun and the joy and the beauty and the energy and the clarity comes from being consistently alcohol free. And I choose to do that and I step into that. And I am not in a prison not drinking. I'm freed from the prison not drinking. I'm in the prison when I'm drinking I'm free when I'm not drinking. And if you're doing this 90 days, 90 days, I just got to get to 90 days, then I'm going to have a drink, then you are looking at it and feeling into it as if you're in a prison and what do prisoners all want to do? They want to get out of prison. And so to put it in this analogy, if you're like in 90 days and you're pleading, looking for, hoping, just wanting to get to 90 days to celebrate, then you feel like you're in a prison, you're going to want to break out of the prison and be free. And being free means you're going to drink the way you used to drink. And it's going to cause all of those problems again, the pain, the suffering, the extra weight, the poor diet, broken relationships. 
which is why we rewire your brain inside of our coaching to have you go, yes, alcohol-free is awesome. I love this. The freedom is being alcohol-free. I'm choosing this. I'm going to go to the pub and the bar and the restaurant with friends and I'm going to powerfully order soda, water, ice and a piece of lime. I'm going to powerfully order water. I'm going to love it. As I'm talking now, I'm getting very thirsty. It's now 3.41 in the afternoon. I'm about to go into the Hamilton Lawn Bowls Club. I have very good Wi-Fi here. I'm going to do a little bit of work for the rest of the afternoon. I'm going to powerfully walk straight into the bar in between the people who are drinking beer in the afternoon, go to the barman, and I'm going to say, may I have a soda, water, ice, and a piece of lime, please? He's going to say, certainly. He's going to pour it, hand it to me. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to sit down at, my, at one of the tables here, log onto the Wi-Fi, and I'm going to do some work. And I'm going to do it while drinking on my soda, water, ice, and a piece of lime. Later on, when 6.30 comes around and more revelers come in and there's more people having drinks at the end of the day at work, I'm going to go up to the bar again. And I'm going to say, can I please grab a soda, water, ice, and a piece of lime? I'm going to squeeze the lime into the pint and stir it around. I'm going to drink it. It's going to taste delicious. And rinse and repeat. Sometimes I'll change the drink up. I have chosen to remain alcohol free for 10 and a half years. I may drink on occasion again, maybe. Don't feel like it, don't even think about it. It's not even a big deal for me. I'm not like drawing a line in the sand and saying, I will never drink again. I'm just saying, I just choose to be alcohol free and I love it. I'm just gonna get into my car here so the wind will, will, will change. Let's get in. I'm now in the uh, parking lot, or as we say in Australia, the car park of uh, the Hamilton Bowls Club here while I finish this off. So 90 days, that's the amount of time. 45 days is too short. 30 days is, gives you a glimpse, like it's a good introduction. Uh, you can do the 30 day no alcohol challenge that I have, which is a nice little baby step introduction into this world just to get a feel for it. But certainly the neuroscience and the my experience is, is that people who do the 30 day challenge, most don't tend to remain alcohol free. They feel great, but then they're drinking again, not, not soon after finishing. Some people do go on, which is amazing. Most people go back to drinking and they look at it more as like a dry January, sober October kind of thing. Something that they'll do. Oh, it was, you know, it was nice to do that one time. That was interesting. Felt great, felt amazing, but nah, they'll go straight back into the matrix and into the societal drift where they just drink normally and put on more weight and feel crappy and sleep poorly and perceive their life to be mediocre compared with what it could be. So if you feel drawn to a higher level, if you feel like you're being held back from something in your life, if you feel compelled to want to step into something bigger and generate health, wealth, love and happiness, then I, inv I invite you to go for at least 90 consecutive days alcohol-free. Statistically speaking, if you try to do it on your own, it's unlikely that you will succeed. I'm rooting for you. Those five pillars I mentioned before, accountability, fun, community, uh, having skin in the game, which means investing in yourself. Uh, what did I say? Community, accountability, fun, um, skin in the game. I'm missing one more. Community, accountability, coaching, community, accountability, coaching, fun. Uh, I'm missing one thing. I've said it so many times I've forgotten it. How did I forget it? Let's try it again. A coaching, accountability, community, fun, skin in the game. There they are, five. Those five pillars working in conjunction will get you everything you want, not just in quitting drinking, but in anything. Coaching, community, accountability, fun, skin in the game. Skin in the game means you invest in yourself, time, money. If something's free, you don't value it, you don't pay close enough attention to it. If you invest to be in a group, a coaching mastermind, a group of like-minded people, for example, you pay money each month to be in that, you, you, you watch it. You pay attention to it, you focus on it. As soon as you pay $7 a month on Netflix, you start watching Netflix, right? But I would suggest you probably don't use YouTube as much, which is free. When you pay, you pay attention. Your energy and your attention goes where your money flows. Or your energy and attention flows towards where your money goes. Because you value it. 
So uh, that's why 90 days, in my experience, is the, the most powerful. Uh, if you would like a free strategy session with uh, either John Keltner or one of our former uh, clients turned coaches or possibly me or someone else, then you can uh, go to jameswanick.com forward slash schedule, uh, 15 minute free call. We're going to help develop a strategy plan for you to uh, reduce or quit drinking. Uh, you'll walk away from that call with a plan. Uh, if you want help executing the plan, then we can book another call uh, from that call. And then, you know, two or three days later, or a week later, we can speak again and we'll walk you through how we can help you. Um, thanks for listening. Hope this was helpful. Uh, please do uh, uh, subscribe to this podcast. Um, if you would leave a review, I would so appreciate that. I've got a little ad here at the end um, and the, uh, the closing credits here where I, uh, I request a review. So I'll leave it up to the ad part to, uh, <laughs> to, to share a little bit more on that. Thank you so much for your support. I support you and I look forward to talking to you on the next one. See ya. Thank you so much for listening. I have some free stuff for you. If you go to jameswanick.com forward slash guide, I will send you my formula for reducing or quitting alcohol. If you'd like to watch the video versions of these episodes, then you can watch them at my YouTube channel, which is at James Swanick. If you'd like to send me a direct message on Instagram, you can do so at James Swanick. If you would like to try a three-day challenge, a free three-day challenge, you can go to jameswanick.com forward slash three-day challenge. If you would like to try the 30-day no alcohol challenge, you can go to 30-day no alcohol challenge. If you would like to schedule a 15-minute exploratory call with one of my coaches to see how we may be able to help you in your alcohol-free journey, you can go to jameswanick.com forward slash schedule. And my request is, if indeed you enjoyed this episode or you have enjoyed the podcast, would you please go ahead and rate the show in iTunes and would you please write a review? A review might just be a sentence saying, great, listen, hey, this was fantastic. Oh, I really enjoyed this. Whenever you give a rating, whenever you write a review, it surges our podcast up in the rankings, enabling more people to see it and hear it and potentially inspiring someone out there to reduce or quit alcohol and potentially transform their life. So yes, while it does help me to get ratings and to get reviews, you will actually be directly contributing to helping someone's life by having them discover this podcast. So if you are open to inspiring others and to helping me in the process, would you please go ahead and give this episode a ranking and would you please write a review? Thank you so much for listening and I will catch you on the next one.